Today, we are going to work on our factory. So we have our milling, we have our hand smacky hammer thing, we have our washing station, we have a mixing station, we have a lava making crucible thing. That's just the void, that's where Perf lives. We have compacting going on, we have more mixing going on, this time heated. And then over here, we're gonna have a barrel of andesite, a barrel of like andesite, the casing things, and then hopefully some mechanisms as well. This section is complete. This is our andesite alloy maker. Our andesite alloy maker takes in a tenth of a bucket of water, one algal blend, one andesite, one iron nugget, we do need to get uh, constant heating going on in here. On top of here, we're going to put a basin. It will pop you there, pop a barrel on there, uh, and pop you there. That'll be our andesite output, uh, which will eventually be working once we have everything hooked up. We now need to get this. This is compacting. This is going to make andesite. That andesite is going to feed into here. So we're going to want a conveyor belt there, I think. Ideally, I want all of these steps to be creating excess beyond what that is needing. The basin is going to sit right up here. The mechanical press is going to sit right not there. The mechanical press is going to sit right up there. So we're already getting pretty high. Whenever we do an elevation change in Create, we end up having to do like a belt down here, then a separate belt there, and then a separate belt there. And it's a pain in the butt to create that. This is our lava maker. So we're going to have uh, some campfires under here and some crucibles above. These crucibles are going to be fed by cobblestone or fed with cobblestone. Um, these fires are just going to constantly burn. We're going to decorate this in somehow, some way, at some point. I don't know how and I don't know when. Uh, probably with some kind of marble or white kind of, maybe diorite. That lava, the only reason it exists is to feed up there. So we can probably have it raise up and do whatever. Um, the mixing. This is making our algal blend. Algal blend is going into this guy. Uh, so to do that, we'll probably just want it to be at the same height as that guy. And then feed across. Uh, so let's raise that up, what, three blocks. So we're going to break that basin. Uh, we're going to break all this and break this guy. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to go one, two, three. We'll do our basin. We'll do our mechanical mixer. All right, so this guy is going to feed along here. We're going to line it up with there for right now. Bring it back a block. Uh, the actual belt is only two blocks high. We'll do that there, like that. Then we need to place one of these guys there. That belt is going to come along here, along here, along here, and along to here. Oh, actually, the, no, the lava needs to go into, into the deployer behind. We'll place a block here for now then we can place a belt there we can actually connect these together and share power that will be fine uh we'll place that there we'll place that there so then we'll have that belt connected we'll have a funnel on there to feed you with power then we'll have this coming down to uh, so I'll come down to there. That's where our lava is going to feed up. We might drop that down a bit more. Depends how this lava comes out. That's where our lava is going to go. So let's work on our bulk washing stations. We need 14 of these. This one is technically the wrong way round. So we're going to break you. If we bulk wash sand, um, it's a Basically a 25% chance that we'll get clay. So we have four of them 
uh, bulk washing sand into clay, which will hopefully give us one clay per operation of the machine. And this machine requires one clay per operation. Uh, to do that, we will um, take one, two, three, four sections of our washing thing. These are going to come back over here somewhere. We're going to have our bulk washers or our encased fans. These need to be powered from the back. So we're going to have to bring these forward by a block. And we're going to want them to sit proud of the belt. Uh, so I think the belt is at that level. Nope, I'm wrong. The belt's at that level. Okay, so that is going to be water above there. So then the belt is going to be there. Boom. Boom. Uh, we're going to do this. And I can always slow this belt down as well if we need longer in the washing. Uh, we're going to put these here for right now. We're going to break this because this is all kinds of wrong. I also might not need four of these. I might be able to get away with like one or two of these because we can wash multiple items at the same time. We can just feed four of these onto one belt. So I may be, I may be way over engineering this right now. That's going to be those. Those are going to feed there into there. We then need another set of bulk washers. We need um, basically 10 more. Our other bulk washers are going to be bulk washing uh, gravel uh, into both flint and iron nuggets. So an iron nugget is basically a 0.12 chance. Like you get 0.12 um, iron nuggets per washing operation. Uh, if we want to get at least one, we need to do 10 of them to get 1.2. I might be able to get with nine, but. Again, I want that slight margin of error to go up. So we can probably put those way lower and somehow get them around here. We might go up there, maybe. We want to avoid the lava and fire because the belts would melt in that, you know, realistically speaking. Uh, we basically want to come up and under, maybe under there we can do. Okay, yeah, I got a plan. Um... When, yeah, we're going to do exactly that. We're going to place this guy here. Next to that, uh, let's do it this way. Next to that, we're going to place this one. Ah, that's not what I want. Not what I want at all. Uh, let's jump up there. It'll be way easier. Why do we just have bees in our factory? We had bees in the last factory, too. Go away, bees. We'll place that there. That then will come down to about here, maybe? Am I off? Find out. Ah, off by one. And then this guy, if we break all this stuff, this guy is going to feed across to here. Lovely. So that should come up there and then come over here and down into there. That's going to be all of our... Uh, iron nuggets we're gonna have that coming along there like that so then we want to make the rest of these bulk washers or at least some of them uh we need to flatten a whole bunch of iron nuggets uh make a whole bunch more casings i believe uh, and then make a bunch of machines actually oh i did it hey we did it Good, I was really worried the rest of our iron despawned for a minute there. All right, um, so now we have that. Actually, we need to run back up to the craft table. God dang. So now that we have those, we are going to spread these around like that. Uh, make ourselves 13 propellers. Then, oh, I think I fucked up. I think I fucked up real bad. Uh, uses, smithing table, andesite machine. Oh, I need the kinetic mechanisms. Fuck, I had the, I had all the casings I needed. No, it was mechanisms I needed to make. Ah, oh, I'm a fool. You're a fool, Harry Potter. So for now, we're going to have to... 
one of these guys uh, and put you over here, like so. Uh, actually, we're going to need to put you up a block uh, or put you on this random piece of cobbles deep slate I have for some reason. I'm going to put you there. Uh, we're going to take some shafts. Shaft you, shaft you. We're running out of shafts. We're going to need some more andesite casing or andesite in general for the shafts too. And then we're going to run away to bed because it's night and I'm scared. Uh, that's going to be our washing. Um, over here we have the sand maker. So the sand maker is going to feed sand up to there. We got one of these. Um, one of these? I just want to make one sand? Whoa, whoa. Bulk washing. One sand is 0 0.25 clay. I think I need to increase my sand, which means I probably need to increase my gravel. Uh, this this here and this here. I think I've I've way underestimated how much sand I need in my calculations. I think I did it wrong. Okay, I don't like that this is now sticking way out into the world. It would be nice to have this on the other side. Very cool of you. And we can feed that out sideways instead. That'll be better. So that's going to feed our flint into you. Fantastic. Um, and hopefully that barrel will be big enough to at least catch most of it. Because there is going to be an excess of it created. We'll do our item filter. Um, and then we need to get mine colonies supplying everything. Which is going to be relatively easy, I think, maybe possible. We're going to put that there. We're going to put a repeater there. And we're going to put... Whoopa. We're going to put a comparator right there. Then we see the couple of pieces of redstone. Bish, bash, bosh. Fill you up with, with flint. Jobs are good. Well, I think I have the factory all wired up, so to speak. We'll do a quick rundown starting from the top. We have the windmill that's feeding into various gears, each with a slightly different speed ratio. All those lines from the top of the windmill are coming down. This one feeds the belts and then through a series of gearboxes and encased chain drives, all the belts connect to each other, powering all the belts at the same speed. We may need to speed up some of these main belts and connect the washing belts to a shorter or a slower clock than the rest of the belts. Uh, but right now the system is at capacity, so it doesn't really matter. The medium speed is connected to most of our main machines, like our press here, like our washers, I believe, are on that line as well. There is a dedicated kelp line which also comes up and comes down to this mixer. The third set of cobble, that's the biggest one because it comes into gold. Gold only has about a tenth of a chance of coming from the gravel washer. Uh, so that comes down to here. The gold then comes up this way. The gold is filtered out, or the flint, I should say, is filtered out by this hopper and dumped into here right now. Uh, a lot of that flint comes up and over this barrier, can I? Nope. Over this, again, into our uh, andesite maker with the gravel. And while the rest is being stored in this barrel, because we will generate more flint, we'll have to find a use for that. The gold continues over the bridge. Uh, oh, sorry, the iron nuggets continue over the bridge, and that goes into our actual andesite alloy maker, which has a little bit of extra gravel in it, just funsies. Everything else is relatively simple. Uh, the algal blend that comes along to join up with our uh, andesite uh, alloy maker, as does the andesite itself. That just comes out of this basin into that basin. The only other things of interest, this barrel here, that provides fuel. That fuel goes into this deployer, which puts it into here, uh, this blaze burner. Unfortunately, there's no way just to have it 
on when this is ready to mix. So I'm kind of limiting the fuel supply right now. Otherwise it'll burn all the time. We can also add a dedicated cobble line to feed our crucibles here to get lava pumped across. That will definitely be something we add. Uh, and then apart from that, I, I that's pretty much it, actually. Um, it's relatively simple once you wrap your head around the entire concept. And the belt work, while it looks complicated, is also relatively easy. One of the best tricks I've learned by doing this is uh, some examples here. If you extend a belt slightly past and then put a gearbox, you can typically get the uh, rotation desired. If I had this gearbox on the other side, this belt would probably turn in the other direction. Uh, or this belt, depending how this gets powered. But I'm pretty sure this belt... Yeah, this belt's getting powered by this gearbox, or this chain drive, power hill, etc, etc, etc. Everything's relatively nicely connected. If you want a world download, I will provide one. You can have a look at it uh, in there, probably. So I did also build a creek, uh, or a couple of creeks, actually. One coming from this hill and going down here. One coming from all the way over here and going down this way. It looks freaking good. It looks good on the map. It, it looks pretty damn good in person, although I want to line it with some more trees and do that kind of stuff. I dig it. I want Minecraft rivers to generate like this. It looks very, very cool. And it flows all the way downhill into the ocean. Love it. So I have been careful with my water. I've not made any real infinite water supplies. I've been running back and forth to the ocean or this lake over here I've been running a lot to. We have now a mechanic that's level two. We also have an andesite factory uh, making our andesite alloy. We don't need brass to activate or to enable pumps. If we have a look at the mechanical pump here, it uses a fluid pipe, which is made out of copper. There is uh, a brass casing, a brass machine. Actually, I may not the custom recipes in. Uh, I'm using a lot of custom recipes for, from uh, Create Above and Beyond. That's largely irrelevant. Know that I'm slowly modifying our recipes to be more like Create Above and Beyond. Right now, we're not looking at getting into tier two of create, which would be brass. We are considering getting into like tier one and a half fluid management. A lot of other fluid management, the tanks and stuff, that does use brass, I believe. So we're going to press some copper and grab some copper. We're going to make pumps. We're going to connect this basin which requires water to the creek, and we're gonna connect the crucible to this basin, which requires the lava. We may also be able to connect it to the blaze burner. We'll find out. I'm thinking I can just do something like that. And if I turn that with a crank. Under pressure, hey, we have water coming out, okay. Oh, I did forget to mention the both the blaze burner and the uh, crucibles, or the fires underneath the crucibles, they are connected to chimneys via various vents and various pumps, and they emit their smoke way above into the sky. So we have the pipe connected here. I am wondering if it's going to affect its ability to output. I might be able to put the pipe there, but then we get some jankness with the mixer. Now, I also don't believe this is going to work. I think the pipe or the pump can only pull uh, from 16 blocks. Okay, that is mixing, but clearly not outputting. does require that opening to output. Until we come up with a better system, we're gonna do some jank. That is just what it is. Uh, 
Oh god, that makes so no 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 no. Oh no. Don't do that. I mean it's good to know, but don't do that. And we have a lava pipe also running. Nice little hot pipe that we can burn our head on one if we go refuel that guy. And we're definitely going to need more crucibles. This is running out of lava quickly. Okay, if we give the blaze a straw, it allows it to accept liquid fuel via buckets or by pipes. Okay. That was a complicated process to get a straw. Definitely going this way a little. Oh, I don't think it's quite enough. Either that or I didn't have enough lava in the machine to get all the way over there. No problem, I can move that. Well, I can move that a couple for sure. Well, once this gets full, or I suppose once all this backs up, then it should start flowing lava into you as well. Anyway, that's our andesite factory basically complete. There's a couple of tweaks to make and certainly some prettying up to do. That, however, is going to wait till live streams. This series in Mine Connolly's and with Create is mainly being performed as a live stream over on twitch.tv slash adlingtont. For now, though, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in whatever we do next.